Hi, and welcome to Woodworking in Progress. On part two of this video series, I'm going to show you how I turn lumber like this into panels like this, which are really three pieces glued up end to end. Now these panels are going to form the basis of the two night tables that I'm building. Let me show you how I did this. I start by looking at my cut plan. That way I know how I'm going to cut up each of the boards that I have. I then have to review the boards for faults. This one, for example, looks, well, a little warped. And this section had a hairline crack, so I had to take that apart because I wouldn't want this split happening in my finished product. Now that that's done, I can proceed to rip all of the boards up to the, to the consistent width. That way the panels will also come equally sized. Next, I go to the miter saw, set my stop gauge up so the parts come at a consistent length. Then it's just a simple matter of putting all of the boards through, cutting them up according to my plan, and making a nice big pile. So now I group the pieces into sets of three, which I'll glue up to panels. I have to look at the pattern of the grain. Does it look nice when they go together? Or equally, are there parts that I want to hide? I also have to check the orientation of the grain on, on the piece itself. So you can see from the end grain, um, the orientation I've marked in red. The wood will bend in the direction of that arc. So I have to alternate these pieces to make sure that my panel doesn't bend over time. Then I've got all the pieces laid out for all the parts for one table. I'm ready to actually start joining them. So a critical thing when you're making panels is that the pieces align to be a flat surface. So in other words, they're not like that or like that. One of the ways that I try to do this is to use something called biscuits. This is a simple biscuit. Now what you do is you put it a hole here in the edge of both of the pieces. To do that, use a cutter like this. Now it's going to cut an arc like that. Okay. So I put a, a mark on each board where I want the center of the hole. Use my cutter. And then I put the biscuit into each into the slot, align them, and fairly even. Right? It's, it's hard to get them perfect, but this helps keep them aligned, especially when the wood is warped. Um, if, I can, if I can push down hard enough and get this hole the same distance up from the bottom on each, then I stand a better chance of having a perfectly aligned panel. To mark the location of the biscuits on the boards, I just draw a straight line across the two pieces. You can see the marks there on the left-hand side. Those will be used when I take it to the router bit and align it with the center of the bit. I take all of the pieces over and I route all the necessary holes. Basically, I'm putting two biscuits per seam. Once that's done, I take all the pieces downstairs because it's a little bit warmer and the glue will set better. I then put glue in the biscuit holes along the seams and put all three pieces together onto my special clamping jig. Uh, I don't have to align the ends of the pieces. I'll cut them up nice and square later. I put some wax paper so that nothing sticks to my clamps, tighten it up and wait. When the glue is dried, I mark the high spots with my pencil. I start leveling them with my hand plane to get really the, the most high spots taken care of first. I then switch to my sander to make the joints nice and level. And then I do some more sanding of the rest of the panel. And still more sanding. The last step is to cut the panels to their final length. I start by using my table saw sled to square up one end of each of the panels. I can then take that perfectly straight edge, 
put it against the fence and accurately cut every panel to its target length. So with the panels all done, it brings us to the end of part two of the project. In the next part, I'll try and figure out if uh, I can put these panels in a, a more stable arrangement. We'll see you then for more woodworking in progress.